Brick is a popular building material, widely used in the construction of houses and buildings. But have you ever wondered how these tiny bricks are created? In today's video, I will introduce you to the brick making process. I'm sure after watching this video, you will have a comprehensive view of the brick production process using automatic machines. Let's watch together. Production process of mass production bricks. The main raw material of brick production is clay. Clay is extracted from mines and then transported to factories for processing. This process includes the following steps. Removing impurities such as stones, sand and plant roots, and then grinding them into a fine powder. Processing clay helps to remove impurities that can affect the quality of bricks. After being processed, the clay is put into a mixer. A clay mixer is typically a two-sharp machine that is powered by electricity. Inside the mixer, the clay is mixed evenly with water and other additives such as coal dust, stone, lime, to create the plasticity and adhesion of the clay. The clay mixing process usually takes about two to three hours. During this time, the machine operating Continuously check the plasticity of the clay and adjust the amount of water and additives as needed. The clay, after mixing, will be taken out of the machine and proceed to shape the block. To shape the product, we use a hydraulic press to shape the bricks as required. The hydraulic pressure can be flexibly adjusted to suit different types of brick. For fire bricks, the pressure is usually higher to choose high strength bricks. For unburnt bricks, the pressure is lower to save energy. After pressing into the mould, the next step is to shape the brick. Currently, brick forming technology is increasingly improved to improve product quality. Some modern brick forming technologies include laser technology, injection mold technology, and robot technology. After shaping, bricks are dried to remove water and increase hardness. The drying process can be done naturally or by machine. This is the most important step in the brick making process because if the bricks are not dry, they will be formed when put in the kiln. The moisture content of bricks after drying should be below 10%. If the moisture content of the brick is too high, the brick will easily crack and break when fired.
brick firing process usually takes place in a kiln. A kiln is a specially designed kiln for firing bricks. There are different types of kilns, but they all operate on the same basic principle. The first step in the brick firing process is to put bricks into the kiln. The bricks are stacked so that the heat can circulate evenly throughout the kiln. The operator will close the oven door tightly and increase the oven temperature. Bricks are heated gradually over a period of several hours. The temperature in the furnace is gradually increased until the desired firing temperature is reached. The firing temperature varies depending on the type of brick being fired. Once the desired firing temperature is reached, bricks are kept at that temperature for a period of time to help harden and last longer. After the bricks are kept at the firing temperature, Desired length of the time, the kiln is cooled down to avoid cracking. After firing, bricks are taken out of the kiln and classified according to quality for sale. In this video, we explore the brick making process together. The complex and interesting process behind the bricks we see every day. If you find this video useful, don't forget to leave a comment and give us your opinion below so that we can share more interesting knowledge. Thank you for taking the time to join us on our journey to learn about the brick making process. Remember to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next interesting video from us. See you in the next video.